Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the mana source, Pika trade, and sponsorships in a very unique way that has never been talked about on YouTube before. And I wanted to point out, I've always felt like a video should be made, but no one ever made it, and I was too lazy to do it. So now that we know Pika trade is a scam, or the majority of you know this, we can go on and see how it got so big. From a marketing perspective, what they did was they had people like Tolarian and Weds promote to their huge subscriber base. They incentivized Tolarian and Weds via bonus coins or bonus Pico points to sign up as many people as they could on this platform. Now the question is, did they know the platform was what it was? The platform's eventual outcome would always be where it is today, where they are charging $24,000 a month in quote fees, right? So imagine how much a year that is. That is an insane amount of quote points leaving the system, which it's just a tax. It is a massive tax on its user base and every single time Eric Freylo or Freytag gets a little richer. He gets $24,000 richer every single month on the backs of its user base. So let's talk about this video. This video was made by Weds on November 10th, 2014, a Pico Trade, a guide to the best online MTG trading service. Well, the video, I actually gave it a thumbs up at the time, had 406 likes, 26 dislikes, and the comments were quite interesting. At this point in time, Wedge was a very big proponent of not being sponsored. And that is the crazy part, is PicoTrade had to tax. This was the known outcome. I would be shocked if Wedge did not understand this. He is a college graduate. He has seems to be very reasonable and very intelligent. And legend has it, he has a board of all the YouTubers and their subscriber numbers. So he, he does his homework. So it's not like he just lazily decided to do a sponsorship with them. No, he did his homework. If you have a lot of points flooding in from content creators, MTG celebrities, people's grandmothers, anyone who says something good on Reddit about them. So it used to be if you said, oh, PicoTrade is the best, or you defended PicoTrade, you would get from the community, the PicoTrade community members, you would get a sum of coins. And one person in Houston, her Twitter handle is something um, bunny, restoration bunny, and she was a community manager and she didn't get paid in money, she got paid in points. So the only person who got paid in money was the CEO. And that is pretty crazy. So here we have the CEO, Eric Freytag. He says, welcome TS, T, I was, I'm going to say TSM, TMS fans. Over the last few days, around 5,000 new members will register with the new Pico accounts. Many of you arriving by way of recommendation from the mana source. On behalf of the Pico Trade community all over and the Pico Trade team based in Oakland, California, welcome to the world's largest Magic Gathering trading network. And obviously, they logoed it with the branding, and the Mana Source is very particular with his name. He gets very upset whenever I mention his name, which is interesting because. I kind of know why he knows. He knows a little bit about digital marketing, search engine optimization. He's mentioned that before. So if your name is only positive stuff, then people will put a you know positive, they will think positively of you. But if your name is more like this, people might question what was going on. And I questioned it too. I questioned the monthly magic box. I told Tolarian straight up, I think it's a scam, dude. And then they nitpicked me because I had mentioned in my video saying that monthly magic box was a scam that these people were getting paid but they were receiving free boxes and then they nitpicked me on what their concept of being paid was I still hold it that if you're receiving free boxes free items free booster packs you should tell people that even if Wizard of Coast is the one who sends you a free box to open on your channel you just say oh this 
video is, you know, I received this box from Wizard of the Coast because using your own money to buy something is vastly different from people sending you stuff. And that's the problem with Pico Points. The subscribers, the big channels like Weds, like the Mana Source, they received tons of Pico Points. If 5,000 people signed up and the minimal amount, you know, for a bonus, I mean, he doesn't need to trade ever. Why would you ever trade if you have infinite amount of points? And the whole concept that this is not going to continue to get you points is wrong because people will continue to watch your video. I think over 200 pe 200,000 people watched your video and they continue to watch it until today. So it is possible that Wedge is still receiving points. And that's the scary part. Uh, the scary part is... Here's the honest truth. Most people on YouTube are not going to be honest with you. If someone gives you free stuff, that is a promotion. That is them giving you free stuff that you otherwise would have to spend money on. Or maybe you don't buy it because it's not great. But once they give it to you for free, you can see people change. And they do change. And that includes airplane tickets for Tolarian. That includes room and hotel, I assume. That includes a lot of different stuff. And at the end of the day, there's a lot of things that you guys don't know about us as YouTubers. One of the, I mean, the monthly magic box is a perfect example of how the YouTube community was back then and how it's changed today. I said, hey, this is a scam. And monthly magic box is a known scam now. I had screenshots of his PayPal on this channel somewhere where he took the $10,000 and he never sent boxes out except to the promoters like Tolarian. And at the end of the day, when Tolarian is receiving his box and he's saying all these good things about it and everyone else is not receiving their box, that's bad. That's bad for the community. It's. I've always wanted to make this video and I decided to make it on the 24th, Christmas Eve, because... I wanted to be as honest with you as I can. Some things in this community are really, really messed up. And one of them is how sponsorships work. It's not honest. So I get it if the patrons give you money and then you make videos and there's no card kingdoms, no TCG players, there's no this, that, this, puker trade, or that. That makes more sense to me. Your fans have supported you. But if your fans are supporting you and you're promoting products that you may believe, I don't know... If, Again, I'm not in their mindset, but to any logical, for me, any person can figure out that if I, everybody's getting free points and everyone's being paid in points, some, the song, the music, it's going to stop at some time and there's not going to be enough chairs left and we will get into what currently is happening. So I do want to talk about some positive, I, I guess, Honest would be the way. Rudy doesn't give a blank. And he's been honest about this. You wouldn't see Rudy su supporting Puka Trade. I could not see Rudy supporting a scam. Number one, he's very intelligent. He's an intelligent individual. Number two, it's such a bad look. And I know you, they made videos saying Puka Trade sucks, Puka Trade, but they made it seem like it was Future Sight was the bad problem. When in fact, Future Sight was. The problem was always if you're giving everyone 700 free coins, where's these free coins coming from? And your CEO is taking out $5 million of coins. That is, according to PicoTrade, over 500 million Pico points. And everyone's being paid from content creators to MTG celebrities. You're, you're hosting GP parties and you're, you have a nice uh, office in Oakland. That isn't... People are not going to take Pico points for your nice office in Oakland. So the only people making money is people who are able to convince other people. It's not exactly a pyramid. It's just unregulated currency. And that is far more dangerous in my opinion because at any time, like they do today, they can take away all your money. They can devalue your money anytime they want. They can make you pay dues. Imagine like if we... Imagine paying $24,000 in dues and somehow everyone in the user base was okay with that. No, yeah, good. 
that company is making so much money each and then they they do it as a positive right they're saying that it's a positive it's good news that they're taking let's see how much 20 uh 20 288,000 dollars of users cards because that's what came in the system or users money because maybe they bought points with money that's insane and yet it was promoted like crazy and no matter how many people say oh well you know it's easy for you to say you the, the, the uh, they offered it to me twice i had the same deal as these guys manosaurus tolarian i had the same deal i had it earlier than they did i can prove it i had it super early when they were doing their first kickstarter not the second one their first one not or was it gofundme who who, who knows what they, they were doing and uh, I've always felt that it was good for me to say that because I want to come out and be honest with you guys. Uh, that's my biggest pet peeve. Like, I'm smart enough. I'm sort of Rudy HQ, rogue deck builder. Like, to someone who's looking at this and then understanding what's happening in the background, it would make no sense to support it. And now, yes, HQ did support it. So I'll throw that out there. But, I mean... If everyone's getting free points, the CEO is taking $5 million in cash out of the company, how are they going to survive? And the answer is dues, $24,000 in dues a month, whether you like it or not. Anyway, bye guys.